All right, today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to treat your palms in the spring if you've had spear pool or if you wanna preventively uh, treat your palms for uh, fungus. Uh, what happens with your palms is in uh, winter time, if you have, uh, we'll go over here to one. If you have a lot of ice or freezing precipitation uh, in the sphere area here, uh, water will collect and freeze. And when that freezing occurs, it can damage the, uh, the growing point down in your palm, which will uh, make a place that fungus can start to try to grow. And so, uh, uh, if you're growing in a cold area, like a zone uh, five, six, seven, uh, and uh, you have this freezing precipitation, uh, what'll happen is once that damaged tissue is there, your palm cannot fight off the fungus and uh, the fungus will start growing. And it, it grows especially uh, in temperatures of over 50 but uh, uh, my recommendation is to spray your palms when temperatures uh, first hit 60 degrees after a cold event. And that's because at 60 and, and higher, especially fungus can really start to get out of control fast. And this fungus may be growing down in your spear and you won't even see it until a couple weeks or a month later to your spear pools. So, what we're going to talk about here is the treatments for it. If you know that you have spear pool and your, your spear is already pulled on your palm or you see rot, you can use uh, the straight 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide like you find uh, just in any grocery store, in any Walgreens, uh, uh, Walmart, CVS. Uh, this, this stuff is just like a dollar or two a bottle. And uh, all you're gonna do is take this and pour it undiluted uh, right into that spear area that we just uh, uh, showed on the video. And uh, uh, sometimes you'll hear it fizz a little bit. And that means that it's, it's uh, uh, making contact with some of that material that's, that needs to be treated. And uh, this is kind of like a instant uh, kill to the fungus and that sort of thing and uh, uh, you can use that every uh, few days to every week on a, a rotted palm you want to use it on days like today that we have here where it's um, a dry day it's going to be dry for a couple days uh, temperature is warm you don't want to use this on days where it's going to be freezing at night uh, uh, where it's going to be wet right afterwards uh, and that sort of thing. Um, the other treatment we have here is copper fungicide and this I use as a preventative and as a treatment and so for me here in Tennessee what I'll do is I'll uh, mix this up in the spring after we've had some cold and icy weather and I'll uh, take it and uh, uh, go ahead and spray it on all the palms. It's really gentle. Uh, copper fungicide is made to go, if you can see there on, uh, it says ornamentals, vegetables, fruits, citrus, uh, turf grass. Uh, it doesn't usually uh, say on the label that it's for palms, but what you're gonna wanna do is mix up uh, the medium to, to stronger uh, dilution that it'll say on the label and you're going to spray that on the palms and we'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. Uh, I just use a little one of these little measuring cups to measure it. In this case this particular one uh, takes 10 to 20 milliliters per gallon and you can mump pump use this in like uh, your garden sprayer or today just so I can do a video I'm gonna show you in a little hand sprayer 
and uh, the fungicide you're going to want to use the same thing when temperatures are uh, 60 uh, or more and you've got these dry days and especially like today we're doing it in the morning and it's windy and so this stuff can dry out on your plant you don't want to ever uh, get your plants wet at night because that's when uh, this fungus will, will tend to try to grow on them uh, so you don't want to exasperate the problem so we're going to take our mixed copper fungicide and we'll show you how to do it on one of the palms gonna want to spray spear area trunk and if you have any type of uh, frond problems you want to spray them a lot of times I spray the entire trunk area up through here If you have any exposed roots, if you think it's been cold and frozen around the roots, you can even spray around the root zone. And it's not going to hurt to spray the entire trunk if it's a small one. If it's a larger uh, palm, I'll just spray the top uh, couple feet of the trunk. I'm going to spray this all around the trunk. And especially down in the spear area, like we talked about. And that's how you spray your copper fungicide on your farm.